And finally to Paris, where some of the world's finest pieces of art and antiques have gone on show. The Biennale des Antiquaires features treasures from the world's greatest dealers since the 1950s. Fine jewelry is one of the highlights. Let's take a look. It's the necklace that captures the attention of everyone who passes by. The sparkling jewelry encrusted piece is called Bionia Reverie and comes with a hefty price tag, around $30 million. It's just one of the many items on show at the Biennale of Antique Dealers and Jewelry Makers at the Grand Ballet in Paris. Another extremely rare object being presented is this blue chest of jewels, made between 7045 and 7049. It's thought to be worth about $2.3 million. This is an extraordinary chest of drawers made by Jacques Dubois, who was a cabinet maker during Louis XV's reign. When we bought it, it was covered with a layer of varnish that made it gray. One of our craftsmen knew how to remove the varnish without harming the pictorial layer and that magic blue color. As well as the antiques, there are plenty of contemporary designs, paintings, and other creations on show. One of the more interesting is this brown's crocodile, presented by Galerie Mitterrand. Le crocodile ou alligator qui est ici fait trois mètres de long. The crocodile or alligator is three meters long. It was made by Claude Lalanne, who is a remarkable woman and sculptor, famous for the way she used animals and plants in sculpting. The price tag is 1.27 million U.S. dollars, and there are only eight copies of Crocodile's wife in the world. Prices are soaring for unique pieces or rare representations, like this painting of Venice in oil by Francesco Gaudi. It's a very rare piece by Francesco Gaudi, for it is one of the very few in which water is only suggested, in contrast to the views we, know, we are used to see where you see the Grand Canale in big and large. Famous jewelry makers Chanel, Cartier, Piaget, Bogari, and Chaumet are at the Biennale regularly. Wallace Chang, a jewelry maker from Hong Kong, has come back to the show with something that no one could ignore, one of the biggest and purest pink sapphires in the world. This pink sapphire was found hundreds of years ago, but I got it only six years ago. It's considered the biggest and the most perfect pink sapphire in the world. I was touched by its color because it has purple or violet reflections, and purple is between red and blue. Red represents an impulsive human being, and blue represents someone who is very calm, and a man is always between these two states. The exhibition runs till September 21st. Shen Li, CCTV.